Bro, I've made this video about like five, six times. I don't know why. I can... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this and just keep it going. Hello, hi. We are here. We are in the end game. This is the final day of 2019. The final video of 2019. 2020 is literally around the corner. It's like tomorrow. It's 2020. Hopefully everybody's been having a good day, a good 19, a good Christmas, whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, there's a few things I want to talk about in this video, which I should have wrote down because I'm not good at remembering, but hopefully I don't go too far off in this video and have this video get drawn out and stretched. Um, probably hit the 10 minute mark. Ahaha, sign off. But seriously, the first thing I want to talk about is this year. This year has been interesting. Um, I started this channel 10, 11 months ago, basically a year ago, and when I first started, bro, and I think the first video I made was the SMG4 video, which I, I deleted, but when I first made the video, I didn't think we would hit 9,000 fast, because we recently hit 9,000, shout out to everybody who's been liking and subscribing, I appreciate you, bro. Um, when I first started, I didn't think we would hit 9,000 in a year. You know, I figure at most, if we're lucky, we'll hit 3,000 subscribers. So 9,000 triple my expectations. So thank you all so much. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for everybody who comes through. Uh, regardless, if you comment or like, comment or not, like or not, subscribe or not. I appreciate you regardless. Um, now, and I was just looking at the videos of where I first started and it was just, it was just really interesting and really cool to see where i was then versus where i'm at now not in like numbers but as far as like just seeing where i was as far as like the quality and how and how i like made videos or whatever versus how i make them now and it's like oh man i i, I came i came a long way bro i really brought this channel from the ground up uh i didn't have no i didn't nobody shouted me out I didn't do no sub to sub. I didn't get in the comment section. Hey, can you sub to me? None of that. I, I, I did it on my own, right? Um, and I feel happy. And with that being said, I feel good about where we at now because I didn't have to rely on anybody else's, uh, I guess, page or channel. Or I didn't have like an old channel and just brought in subs. I started brand new. So I, f I feel pretty good about that, you know what I'm saying? 9,000, that's 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 really good. And we're almost to 10,000, which is not very far off. So like I said, thank y'all so, so much. I appreciate you. Hopefully y'all didn't hear that fireworks. That's that's gonna be kind of aggravating. Um, Now, I wanna talk about how I've been doing 2019. 2019 has been a iffy year for me, uh, mentally. I don't know, 2019 has been iffy. Um, I haven't really been feeling like the best of best. I know when I first started this channel, I was like peak. I was great, man. I was pumping two, three videos a day. You know what I'm saying my motivation, my my drive, my grind was 100%. Now it's like it's dipped. It's a lot lower than what 100% is. Um, but that being said, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy making videos no more. It's just that the drive has dipped. Is is dipped. Um, and that's one reason why, a main reason why I haven't really been doing live streams like that because I just, mentally, I just, I just couldn't do it. I don't know, mentally, I just couldn't do it because with the video, I could just put the video out, right? I put it out and then after I finish the video, I don't have to worry about going on for a certain amount of hours trying to entertain while I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I've been definitely cut live streams. Uh, a lot. The next thing I want to talk about is Copa, Copa, whatever you want to call it. So you guys know this year they announced. So you know this year, uh, Copa was a hot topic for the past couple months. Um, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard about it, and when they first, uh, when YouTube dropped the video about it, I was scared. I was shook. I was like, dang, bro. It's like, dog. I really built this channel from the ground up. I got it to where we got it. We got it to where it is now. And now I might get hit by this. I might have to pay 42,000 per video, which I don't have, which means 
I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm like, bro. So I figured, you know what? To save myself from this, I'm just going to delete all my videos or I'm just going to delete the channel. Mm, I would have made a video before, but I just wanted to see, like sit back and see how this will all play out, see if any more information would come out. Because I, I was scared. I, I was really, really scared and nervous about it, especially with these YouTubers talking about gloom and doom, how uh, it's going to destroy YouTube, YouTube is going to die, all this nonsense. Come to find out, come to find out with more information, it's not as bad as it was. Even when it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I guess a little recap for those who don't know. YouTube was targeting personalized ads to kids. They weren't supposed to. It's illegal. But since they were getting away with it, it was like, Psh. all right, fine. We're going to keep pushing these ads. We're going to stop us. FTC said, ah, ha, ha, what you doing? Nah, you ain't, nah, you ain't supposed to be doing this. But that's all good, though. We're going we're gonna to hit them pockets. So I forgot how much they find them. They found find them a lot, a lot, a lot of money. YouTube got hurt financially. And uh, because of that, they was like, you know what? Because we got hit, y'all going to get hit too. So they made a video talking about um, you have to start marketing videos for kids or not for kids. If it's not for kids, cool. But if it's for kids, you lose out a lot of channel features. Very important, critical channel features like notification. You lose um, your, your videos don't get pushed out like it's supposed to. You can't save videos in a playlist. Your comment section is turned off. And a lot of like, you cut off, they cut off 90% of the revenue. I think it was 90 or 70. They cut out a lot of the revenue. And um, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. If the, if like when they announced copper and if the only thing that happened was they cut the revenue like 70 or like 80%, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't care because I figure if that's the only thing that they're going to mess with and nothing else, that's fine. I still can get pushed in the algorithm. I still have a chance to grow. You know what I'm saying? But not only is your revenue cut, right? Your revenue's cut. They don't push you. Matter of fact, I don't even think you were even in the algorithm. That video is not even in the algorithm. And they don't push the videos to the sub box and you don't have a comment section. It's like, what's the point of making a video? Like, what's the point of, of having a channel if you can't have... A, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's retarded. So I was shook. I was shook. I was like, man, I'm gonna delete my videos. I'm gonna probably delete the channel. <laughs> like, I'm glad I didn't act on it because it turns out it's not as bad as people was talking about. You know. Um, and then later down the road, YouTubers, these two YouTubers that I watched, Creekcraft and Dan TDM, they actually went to Copper. They actually went to the FTC. I should say they went to the FTC. They actually talked to the commissioners and basically what they said is the majority of channels should be good. The FTC is looking specifically for channels and videos that are obviously targeting children. So basically like the, the nursery rhyme type content looking for, I guess, very, very, very family friendly type channels People who's making like regular type channels, they should be straight. Like they'll they'll be fine. Y'all y'all be okay. Y'all gonna be okay. Because uh, according according to Creecraft and according to Dan TM, to people who actually went to the FTC, they said basically, as long as you're not strictly targeting kids, like as long as you're not doing like no noggin type Nick Junior type content, type uh nursery rhyme, you know what I'm saying. You should be straight. You should be fine for the most part. But don't take my word for it, you know. That's just what I got from them. And because they talked to the FTC, those are only two people that I'm going to consider. Everybody else's videos are irrelevant because they didn't talk to them, you know. Had me worrying about, oh, man, my channel's going to get, I'm going to delete my channel. I'm going to have to delete these videos. Come to find out it's not as bad as people are talking about. So, uh, there's that. <laughs> there's that. So, um. Our channel should be straight. It should be fine. I'm not worried about it. And also, too, they said that you won't get fined forty two thousand uh, dollars. From what they were told, they said that they you're gonna get if you were to violate 
the the COPA law, you're not gonna get fined forty two thousand dollars, but you are gonna get fined to the point where it doesn't bankrupt you, but it does hurt you. So in my head, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, maybe a maybe a couple thousand, which is a lot, but it won't bankrupt you for the most part for for the average uh person. So that's that for the COPA thing. It was blown way out of proportion. Um, I'm glad we got more information about it. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. So next, I want to talk about going forward in 2020. Going forward 2020, I want to make, I want to put more effort into the videos because especially the past month or two or three, three maybe i've been i just been looking at the older videos and this is like dang bro i really had no enthusiasm i ain't really have no drive i just got up here reacted dipped like i didn't i wasn't really i don't know i wasn't really happy making the videos not to say i didn't like what i was watching but just it was no it wasn't really a lot of effort into the videos because I know even when I first started I put a lot of effort into the older videos but with a lot of the recent ones I'm looking at I look at is like bro I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of the, of the videos that I've made um so going into 2020 I want to make I want to make videos that I put my 100% into I want to make videos that I feel proud about you know and that's what I'm going to do in 2020. So I guess expect more quality, expect more effort into the videos. Um, Cause I want to do better. This year I haven't been doing better. Next year I want to do better, a hundred percent. And also to um, a gaming channel, I want to start next year. I want to put a lot more quality into it and just grow that as well. Also, as far as like having quality on this channel right here uh recently i've been watching a lot of videos from like um i've definitely been really really inspired by i'm dante because i look at i'm dante as like a template or an example of where i want to be as far as this reaction channel thing goes because i've always respected i'm dante because his his edits are very 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 clean he always puts 100% into the videos, it seems at least, you know, and also too, he has a strong community, which I want to have as well. I look at channels like Dwayne and Jazz, I look at channels like Charmax, I look at channels like Prince Charmax, I look at channels, I think D and, D and B Entertainment, which is Brandon Rashad and D Chanel, you know, they they got it, like they, they all got it, they all got it, and that's why I eventually want to be in we want to eventually cultivate a community like that because I always have, I don't know, and even for me, like even like, like even now we have a community. Um, I feel like we have, a, we have a, we have a pretty strong community as right now, but I want to eventually have it even bigger, you know what I'm saying? Spread it even farther. You know what I'm talking about? Um, cause I know with a lot of reaction channels, they usually people usually come for the videos but it seems like y'all come for that too but y'all come for me as well and i appreciate you you know because i've made a lot of videos in the past and one of the things that i really pride myself in making I, one of the things i really pride myself when i made uh these channels is a community basically having like a hub of supporters i don't like using the word fan i don't like using the word family because you know a lot of a lot of like the bigger YouTubers be using it, and then turn out they be scum. They be like they be they be wilding. They be wilding. So I don't like using fans. I don't like saying family. I like saying I'll say supporters, viewers, the homies, because um, that's what y'all are. Um, so I want to build a community. I want to have y'all more involved into. The videos as much as I can. Of course, it's a reaction channel. Only so much I can do, but I'm gonna try to involve y'all as much as I possibly can. Now, um, also I'm starting up a gaming channel. 
really I'm really passionate about making video games. Um, same with this channel. I want to make uh, videos that I'm 100% passionate about. I want to put 100% of my effort, time, and like grind on it. I've been looking at channels like Sacred Almighty, Rico the Giant, Berlizzi, um, Run JD Run. Really admire and respect the heck out of the channels. They really work hard to make the videos and they've worked hard to where they are at now. And that's where I want to get at. That's where I eventually want to be at with both of the channels, this one and the gaming channel. So um, that's a goal. That's definitely something I'm striving for. And I guess to top off the whole video, goals that I have going to 2020, I want, dang, we've been recording for 60 minutes. The goal I wanna have for 2020, for this channel first, I want to try to go to this channel probably to 15,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm lowballing. I want to say 20. I want to say 20. You know what, screw it. The goal is to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So which means I'm at the grind, grind, grind. Uh, next, I want to build like a, um, I want to get more people in, make it more inclusive, make it more of a community. You know what I'm saying? Put 100% into these videos, which means I probably won't be posting every day because I'm gonna be putting like 100%, unless I have the time, yeah. I'll post every day if I have the time, but um, I'm gonna put 100% into it. And I think that's all for this channel. For the gaming channel, the goal is to hit a thousand before the end of 2020. I think we can do it. I think, I think we can do it. All, now, all I gotta do is put in the work. Um, that's it for the video i think that's everything like i said i should have wrote this down because i start i'm starting to lose it i don't remember <laughs> i feel like there's something i'm missing but you know hopefully it's not like i said thank y'all for listening thank y'all for squatting thanks for popping the squat and listen you know what i'm saying those are my goals those are those are my goals for 2020 this is how i've been feeling this year um Shout out to everybody from the day ones to the people who just subbed at this very second. Thank you very much. Um, 2020, we're still going to be grinding. It's up a lot, a lot harder. A lot of things I want to work on behind the scenes as well. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, thank y'all for everybody coming through who have been supporting the channel, uh, who have been supporting me, you know. Thank you. Um, hopefully everybody has a good 2020, you know, you know, you know, this is a new decade. So hopefully everybody get they, get their life right. Cause I'm definitely trying to get mine right. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but now thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Quay Max, aka Quay. And I'm going to see y'all in the new year. Allegedly. <laughs> All right, no bottle. I'm going to catch y'all later.